Here we presents the top 5 best portable laptops. Starting at number 5, Microsoft Surface Pro 7. Microsoft should have wowed us when it unveiled the Microsoft Surface Pro 7. It should have at least been the perfect time to shore up the issues of its predecessor, the Microsoft Surface Pro 6. However, Microsoft just gave us an incremental update to the line instead of making the leaps in tech most people hoped for. There were critical improvements that could have been made but weren't. It's true that the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 did get some updated internals for a little more power. But, you do trade in some battery life for that power. And, considering what Microsoft is asking for the device, it's not enough of an improvement to justify the price. The Surface Pro X was also an underwhelming entry and we hoped the Surface Pro 7 would make up for that release. There were a few obvious areas Microsoft could have easily improved upon. It could have included slimmer bezels on the screen. Or, it could have done a better job implementing USB-C on the Surface Pro 7. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 looks more like the product before that big generational leap in the product line, and that makes it hard to wholeheartedly recommend it. Hopefully, Microsoft is holding on to its bigger innovations for more exciting products in the future, whether that be something like the somewhat delayed Surface Neo, or the Pro 7's eventual successor, the Surface Pro 8. All told, this is essentially the same Surface Pro you've known for years, only now it features a more versatile USB-C port in lieu of a DisplayPort connection. Why not wrap the original USB-A as well for another USB-C? Who knows? There is a lot that could have been done to improve this product at the same price that simply wasn't done, so forgive us for being nonplussed by the Surface Pro 7 design and feel. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, at number 4. Huawei MateBook X Pro. The Huawei MateBook X is a brilliant thin and light laptop from a company that's likely best known for making smartphones and falling out with the US government. However, it's also been slowly and steadily building up its reputation in the laptop market, with its MateBook lineup of laptops proving to be decent Apple alternatives, minus the high price tag. With the excellent Huawei MateBook X, the company has once again shown that it should be a brand to be reckoned in this market. First of all, the MateBook X is a stylish laptop that's thin, light, weighing just one kilogram, and easy to carry around. While there is certainly a nod to Apple in terms of its design, Huawei is forging its own identity, so the MateBook X doesn't feel quite so much of a MacBook knockoff as its predecessors. Speaking of performance, the Huawei MateBook X does an excellent job at keeping up with pretty much any task you throw its way. Windows 10 feels fast and responsive, and for day-to-day -day usage, this machine is quick and capable. Battery life is another highlight. It lasted 9 hours and 30 minutes in our tests. It will easily last a full work or school day. With its fast charger, even if you do need to top up the battery, you won't need to plug in the MateBook X for long, around 30 minutes, will have the battery life back to 50%. Overall, then, the Huawei MateBook X is a fantastic thin and light laptop at a super competitive price, a laptop that will further cement Huawei's reputation as a laptop maker to keep an eye on. It's just a shame about the webcam placement. Halfway of my listed number 3, Razer Blade Stealth 13. We've reviewed many updates of Razer's Blade Stealth laptop in the last few years. Some models brought major design revisions, others focused on internal upgrades. The 2020 Blade Stealth 13 is somewhere in the middle, bringing new features, components, and a few design tweaks. Its upgraded NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 1650T graphics chip makes it the only true 13-inch gaming laptop available, and a new 120Hz display is even more appealing for gamers. These improvements on an already solid design make it easy to recommend, even if it's less of a total overhaul than the editor's choice winning 2019 version was. The presence of the aggressively priced 14-inch Asus ROG Zephyrus G14, based on AMD Risen Silicon, undercuts its value somewhat, but there is no direct comparison for this premium gaming ultra portable. Let's start with the design. Everything I liked about the 2019 Blade Stealth 13 is back, chiefly the high-quality all-aluminum chassis. Razer retains the square shape that the Blade 13 Stealth switched to in previous models, cutting its rounded corners for a sharper, more modern look. The lid logo is etched black on black, rather than the classic lime green Razer logo that, while on brand, looks less stylish. For performance testing, I put together a list of similar laptops to compare to the Stealth. 
These are mostly 13-inch laptops, with one exception, and comprise a mix of gaming and non-gaming machines since the Stealth straddles the line. The updated Blade Stealth 13 is the best version yet of Razer's Gaming Ultra Portable. A compact metal build, a gaming-ready GPU, and a robust feature set elevated to the upper echelon of premium Ultra Portables. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. Coming in at number 2. Microsoft Surface Pro X. No matter your budget, some kind of name brand tablet PC is in your reach. For tens of dollars, Amazon will sell binge watchers and email checkers of Fire HD. Big spenders and digital artists might gravitate toward an Apple iBig Pro. And for bleeding edge dwellers, there's the new Microsoft Surface Pro X. It's a candidate for the best looking pure Windows 10 tablet ever, as sleek as the iBig Pro. And thanks to its custom, unique ARM based processor, the Surface Pro X is whisper quiet and features long battery life. All those high points, though, can't offset some key flaws, it suffers from occasional sluggishness and, crucially, software incompatibilities and nuances that buyers will have to navigate. It's fine for basic use, but a poor value, appealing mostly to Surface superfans willing to work within its limitations. Microsoft's own Surface Pro 7 is a better bet. In its most basic form, the Surface Pro X is a tablet running Microsoft's Windows 10 operating system. It's slim and sleek, with thin borders around its 13-inch screen and impressively trimmed dimensions, 0, 28 by 11, 3 by 8, 2 inches and 1, 7 pounds. I find that the inky, matte black color of the anodized aluminum exterior contributes to the tablet's aura of sleekness. If you'd rather have a Surface Pro X in a different color, though, you're out of luck. It's black or nothing. Although you can use the Surface Pro X solely in its basic tablet form, tapping the screen is your primary means of interaction, I find that the experience is better if you use the optional Surface Pro X signature keyboard, which costs a hefty $269 and includes a robust touch fit and a nifty digital stylus. My preference for the keyboard is partly because it doubles as a magnetically attaching cover for the tablet when it's not in use, which you want anyway, and partly because it includes a built-in magnetic holder for the stylus, something the Surface Pro 7's keyboard cover lacks. And number 1. Acer Swift 7. The 2019 edition of Acer's ultra-portable flagship, the $1,699. 99 Swift 7 is 4 one hundredths of an inch thicker than last year's model, at 0. 39 inch, it's almost as portly as the Dell XPS 13. But not only is the Swift 7 still way thinner than pretenders like the Razer Blade Stealth or Apple MacBook Air, it's lighter than all of them at 1. 96 pounds despite flaunting a 14 inch instead of 13. 3 inch screen. As for year-over-year -year improvements, the new model has a faster CPU, twice the memory and storage, and Thunderbolt 3 enabled instead of vanilla USB Type-C ports at the same price. It's not the best value or the best performer in the ultra-portable arena, but it's the sleekest status symbol. My $1,699.99 review unit, model SF71452T75R6, combines a 1. 5G HC Core i7 to 8500Y processor with integrated Intel UHD graphics 615, 16 GB of RAM, a 512 GB NVMe solid state drive, and Windows 10 Home. There are several other Swift 7 models available, some with Windows 10 Pro, some with the lesser Core i7-7Y75 chip from the system we tested a year ago. All share a 14-inch touchscreen with a full HD native resolution. The Swift 7 gets its ultralight bona fides from the use of magnesium lithium and magnesium aluminum alloys in the chassis, along with some pruning around the edges. Thanks to thin screen bezels, Acer boasts that the system has a smaller footprint than many 13. 3-inch laptops. The company says a special oxidation process gives the black beauty a ceramic-like surface. It's one of the most striking notebooks you can buy, not only because of its lower than low profile and slim bezels, but because of its 5 instead of 6 row keyboard and super wide touch fit. It's also silent, with no cooling fan inside. It's no speed demon and the webcam is subpar, but the Acer Swift 7 is the slimmest and lightest 14 inch ultra portable we've seen, an under 2 pound fashion statement that will tempt elite travelers. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button.
share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe.